Hey TD Superheroes, my name is Alejandro Perez, your sidekick, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to merge shape nodes of different objects in the scene. So let's say we had two curves and we wanted them to be merged into one. We can use the merge tool here and we've merged them together. They could be any shape really. So let's say we had these and we wanted to make them one object. We can merge them that way. We can also maybe create an arrow and let's rotate it. I'm going to kind of eyeball it around 90 degrees. Take these and merge them together so that still all works together. We have several curves all merged together into a single transform node. And if we look, all those nodes, the shape nodes, are still inside of that transform. It's just that we're only using one transform for all of them now. If you're interested in just a tool, I have my curve tool available. And I'll add that as a link down in the description. But if you want to build it yourself, here is the script that we are going to be building. So we need to import maya.cmds as mc inside of a python tab and let's create a variable we're going to create a selection so it's going to be a list mc.ls of the selection sl equals true so we have the variable cell in maya commands list what are we creating a list of the selection and then let's print cell right now and we need some objects to be selected okay so we have these two objects here and if I run the code here you can see we have nerve circle 2 and nerve circle 1 then we also need the shape nodes so let's create a variable called shape we are going to access the list relatives and we're going to ask for the shape or we can do s equals true the shape notes so let's switch this over to shape and run this and you'll see that instead of the transform notes we get the shape nodes okay so now basically to get it basically working but we're going to make it more robust we would parent and then we need shape zero and cell one shape equals true and relative equals true okay so let's run this and we should see that it parented it it did it did kind of collapse it so Let's take a look at, oops, uh, edit, redo. I wanted to undo over here. There we go, we have both curves. So to fix that, what we need to do is set up a for loop for item in cell. Let's go in and say mc dot make identity item apply equals true and we need to translate equals true rotate equals true and scale equals true so basically this is the command for freeze transformations so we're going to freeze the transformations for each object in our curve list. And then we still have an issue. Oh, sorry. I changed something. This should be relative, not absolute. Let's try that again. So if we select this object here, that is what we needed. And it works just fine. The only thing is that we have the transform node left, so we would end up needing to delete that. So, oops, 
Uh, let's do redo. I didn't mean to get rid of that relative. There we go. Okay, so then here that is working, but let's say we had three objects. Obviously, this is not going to work. It's only going to do the two objects that were selected first. So we need to figure out a way to be able to get all of these objects in there. We need to figure out a way to get all of the objects to be part of the parenting. So let's look at print shape really quick. Actually, we can... Uh, we'll just run this really quick. We can see that we have the shape notes for each one of the selected. So we get all of the shape notes and we also get all of the selected objects. So we could try doing the actual list, although you'll see that we actually have a little bit of a issue. Let's say we parent it or we set it up to be the last selected object. So we can see that this actually works. So we want to be able to do that. And then let's say we had a, another object that we just created and we take this and take this and we Try run this again. And we can see that still works. All right. So basically we just need to get rid of all of the other transforms. So after we parent everything, let's go ahead and do MC dot, or actually let's do a for loop for item in cell. We are going to do an if statement. We need to check that it is not the last transform that we created. So if item is equal to cell negative one, then we're going to pass. Else we are going to mc dot delete item. We don't have anything selected, so let's kind of go back so that we can have these items again. Cool. So I'm going to check this here, run this, and we can see if we select this, we are there. We probably want to be able to center the pivot. Okay, so then over here we're going to say mc dot x form and we're going to do cell negative one center pivot equals true so that centers our pivot let's undo this here okay run all of this we should have this there with a centered pivot that's great and then let's take a look at just clearing the selection or just mc.select. So it depends on what you want. You can clear the selection or you can just select the last object. Bracket, negative one, bracket, close parentheses. So let's undo this. So we have all the curves and we can do that and then we just end up with that last curve and it's selected so you can do that or if you just want to deselect everything you can do a mc dot select cl equals true oops cl equals true so let's bring this back to, to its original state run this you can see it clears everything. That's just a preference, whatever you want to do. You can do that. So one last time we can, oops, it only has one object. We need all three of these. 
and it doesn't need three it can be it could be less than three but it has to be more than one so and it can be like as many as you want so we can create several more and it should still work there you go so like i said also at the beginning of the video if you want the curve tool it is available on my gumroad account um, it has a whole bunch of curve creation tools we also have color tools so that way we can assign colors to curves so if we have something like this we can assign a color super quick and then we have some extra tools that will let us manipulate curves pretty quickly all right that's it for this video we will see you guys in the next one bye